Welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the S60 by SkyRC. A very good little charger. Does two to four cell lipo, two to four cell uh, high voltage, and life packs to the same thing. Lithium ion. NIMS will do six to eight cells. NICAT six to eight, and PB six to twelve volts. It's a small compact charger that gives you a lot of punch. Uh, it's a 60 watt, uh, 6 amp, and 110 volts. Great little charger. Let's open up and see what's inside. First thing you see is the manual. That is, do you suggest, even if you're watching this video here, take the time to read this manual. Go completely A to Z. Put this aside. Open this first pack here. What they give you in this pack is one charge lead, XT60s, and one power plug. Let's unwrap the power plug. Put it aside. Take the charger out, put the box aside. Now, what you can physically see, it is a compact charger, very small form. Uh, it's an AC charger only, it's not DC. Remove this. It protects your screen. And they do say never use the charger unsupervised. Basically, what this means, any battery you're charging, that would be a NIM, a LiPo, or PB, as it really matter, always stay beside your charger or line of sight. Something happens, something goes wrong, you'll have time to grab it. Nearest exit door or nearest window that's open, just throw it outside. Unfortunately, let it do what it needs to do. Looking at it, four buttons on top. Face-wise, you have your balancing port your main the charging port, temperature sensor, and a PC link. Uh, micro USB, plug into your PC, download the software, you'll be able to see what's happening with the charger itself, and you'll be able to do firmware updates. Side look, uh, you have an input fan, doesn't have one on this side. Back, you have the AC input, 100 to 240 volts. And behind it gives you a little bit of description on the charger, the input voltage, the max amperage, things like that. Let's plug in the charger. First thing you get greeted with is usually what your charger was on the last time. This one's the first time plugged in, shows you the LiPo balancing charge. Now, with your arrows up and down, your stop, your end, your start. If you press start, the basically the amperage will start flashing. Now you can go up, up an amperage. If you want it to charge, that's at two amps. Press start again. Now the 4S is flashing, telling you it's a 4S that's ready to charge. If we press plus again, now we just went to 2S. Plus again, a 3S, and back to a 4S. But let's say we want it to charge a 2S. We're gonna press enter and continue pressing until the charger will start. Now, let's say you just did that and the charger will tell you an error code. It might mean you forgot to plug in your balancing port or your main port here on the charger. Because if I press start right now, does a battery check now it goes to a connection break now the connection break basically means it's missing one of these guys here or your connector is faulty press stop now if you go for the plus and minus arrows now you're going to lipo charge lipo fast charge lipo storage lipo discharge and back to the the beginning Now, if you press stop, 
Now we go in battery program. Now we have LiPo battery, life battery, lithium ion battery, LIHV, and NIMH, and NICAD battery, and PB battery, and we have a battery meter. Basically, the battery meter gives you a metering of what's happening with your battery. And if you press it again, battery resistance. Battery resistance calculates what's the resistance that your battery can dish out. Meaning is a lot of guys for quads, they use battery resistance to see how much resistance there's left in the battery, determining what kind of running time you'll have or life on it. But this will be a separate video we'll do on. Press again, the system setting. Now you can go in the system and adjust some certain settings. But physically off, out of the box, should I say, you should be more than fine. Plus again, and we're back to our LiPo, life, and so on and so on. Press name again. First, first start, you'll have, be able to adjust your amperage up and down, press again, and hold to start the charge. Now, holding the start button is for any type of batteries the charger will be able to do. And I make sure to a charge. I don't really use that kind of options. I prefer to leave it to manual. And I make discharge. This is good when you want to discharge an IMH. Uh, Repeat. Now, NIMH cycle, how to cycle your battery. I do have a complete video how, to, how to, to do this. But again, what it does, it charges your battery and discharges it. It runs your battery. Basically, it makes your battery, uh, let's say, fully charged and discharged. It cycles it. Gives it a workout, let's say. And we're back to the same step. Now, press... Stop again to both select the other kind of batteries or the systems. In a nutshell, this is pretty much basic charger. Great little charger. If you guys have any questions or comment, post down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell in the corner to get notification when I do upload videos. Thank you guys.